March when you could probably get crowds off over here. <laughs> it's there's or so that. many questions. Or that. I mean, I don't know if the Rangers really want to go spend assets on players like Kessel or Radulov. Or do do they go and make the big splash and go get Philip Forsberg? I don't know if they can do that and, and realistically bring him back with the, 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 the contracts that they have that they have to give out and then Adam Fox's extension going they, in. Like, they, they, wouldn't be, they wouldn't be able to. I, yeah, I don't think they yeah. would. But I mean, there was a little bit extra news. Uh, we're just going to spend about two minutes on this. Uh, one of, one of them is going to make folks' eyes roll. But it's all for the president of the Chris Kreider fan club right here. Uh, he had his 12th goal of the season last night. That missed, puts him second in the NHL. Do you know who's the only person ahead of him? Well, he's tied Leon for Dreisaitl. second. Well, he's tied for second, but oh, he's yeah. ahead of him. Leon yeah. Dreisaitl. Leon yeah. Dreisaitl. And yeah. definitely Leon Dreisaitl, man. Um, so <laughs> the way Chris Kreider is playing, is it time to just make Chris Kreider the captain? No. Okay? No. Absolutely not. I, I, I want to see more from the other players in this team. I want to see more consistency on a game to game. And I love what I've seen from Chris Kreider in the last few games. I think it's been his best hockey overall as a Ranger. He's been a force away from the puck. Even when he hasn't been scoring, he's made good plays with the puck. He's made smart decisions. He's been tough on the forecheck. He's caused turnovers. This is what Chris Kreider needs to be on a nightly basis because the goals aren't always going to come. So if this part of his game is not there when the goals are not coming, he's useless. I want to see more of this on a nightly basis for a very long extended period of time before I say, okay, name him captain. And by the way, teams have named people captain midseason. Anthony? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much on, on Phil's in Phil's boat, I should say. Um, let's see for an extended period of time. And then not only that, but but just because a guy scores and produces um, doesn't necessarily mean they should have a C slapped on them. Um, it's the other areas of the game uh, that really matter when it comes to being a captain. So um, I, I think he's I think he's a little bit more of the heartbeat of the team when he's going that that team is this team is really going. Um, he's the one that shares their emotions. He's not as emotional and as emotionally connected as Callahan was back 10 years ago. But, um, no, I, you I, know what? Try to be Ryan Callahan. Go ahead, Phil. I, I do. Listen, I'm not going to tell you that I, he, there's no leadership qualities in him because I, I do see them, but I want someone that can not just be a vocal guy in the locker room and an emotional guy in the locker room, yeah. but he takes charge and leads by example on the ice. And again, that doesn't mean the top scorer. Not every captain is the top scorer. Jeff Odgers was the captain of the Atlanta Thrashers. Was he a scorer? No, he was a face puncher. Who's the captain of the Colorado Avalanche? Uh, uh, right now? Yeah. Right Gabriel now Landeskog. is Landeskog. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah not so it, it, it's, not the, it's not the best player of the top scorer that's a captain. <laughs> but it, it's It's got to be someone that's got to lead by example. And if Chris Kreider can consistently be that guy that leads by example and brings it every damn game, then you know what? I'll shut the hell up. And you serve me that that crow on that hot plate, and I'll <laughs> I'll eat it. See, I was also trying to think about what to make a bet with you about if Kreider scores thirty goals, that you'd have to shave your head or something. But you've already done I've that. I've already done that. Yeah, that, that, that's, so that's, it's, it's, it's me shaving my head is a little bit more drastic. Yeah, I was about right. to say that'd be interesting. Uh, pivoting to the other Qu Chris Kreider question, and the Chris Kreider question that involves. <laughs> yeah, Kelly Kissio. That involves the, the team. All th There's one team all three of us root for, especially in February. But can Chris Kreider be on Team USA? Wow. That's a tough one. Um, if he, I, I'll, I'll, I'll reference this. Back in 2013 14, we all remember how during the hurdle game, Rick Nash got elbowed straight in the head by Brad Stewart. Nothing happened from it. He missed some time. But he came back, forming back with a vengeance. And he had a stretch in which he scored 11 goals in 11 games leading up to that Olympic break. And Mike Babcock selected him for Team Canada. And that basically got him that. 
So if Chris Kreider can continue this, and let's just say by the time the Olympic break comes around, he's got, I don't know, 20, 25 goals, something like that. And he looks like he's on pace for 30, 40 goals, 35, 40 goals. Maybe at that point, but there's a lot of depth. You, you got to think about the wingers that they have. Both Kachucks, mm-hmm. they they look like they, they're guys. But again, this is going to be on a bigger ice surface. Chris Kreider can cover a lot of ground with his speed, and he can protect the puck well while doing so. So uh, I, I definitely say if we were, if this was bar talk, I would say beer. Anthony. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, I think he may, he can make team USA. Um, I mean, if, if the, if instead of the Ken, it was, it said that Chris Carter will make team USA. I mean, that that's, that's a little different, but sure. You know, he can make it, um, you know, I, we already referenced what their center depth looks like, but um, you know, you got to really consider or think about it. How many wings, um, can be more useful than him on the team. I mean, um, Alex Debrinkat's going to be on the team, uh, you know for sure. Um, you know, the, you, you have you have the Kachucks. Um, you know, Patty, Patty Kane's obviously definitely going to be there, even though even though he's older. A- um, Anthony, I'm glad you listed him off. Anders Lee. He, I mean, he's another guy that you throw in that category that's been talked about. I'm sure. You know the list never came out, but each country had a had had to submit like a fifty um, a fifty player list of guys they you know would are going to be considering, and I'm sure Lee and Kreider are on that fifty are on that fifty player list. Um, you know, I I definitely wouldn't I don't envy the guy that has to pare that down because that's all tough decisions. Um, but you know, Team USA, um, I think they're stronger on the wing than they are at center ice right now. Um, yeah, Joe, Joe Pavelski. Oh, that's a hundred percent. The <laughs> team USA, uh, and you know what? Again, yeah. he's he's getting gotten that Jack Eichel trade done earlier. He's getting but, older. Pavelski is, you know, I, yeah. I I don't know if he's, I don't necessarily think he's a, he's a lock to be to well, be on the team. You know what? The, imagination. Blake Wheeler, Blake Wheeler, Blake Wheeler. Yeah, Blake Blake Wheeler. Wheeler. Everybody yeah, he forgets about Blake Wheeler. Center. He 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 could play wing or center. Um, I I, I, I would say this though, with Pavelski. Connor. What's up? Kyle Connor is definitely going to be Kyle Connor, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kyle Connor is definitely making that team. Yeah. But, I mean, Pavelski, the, the thing with him is that uh, sometimes a lot of these Olympic teams, they they, they pick based on name value. And yeah. you know what? Look, look at Seth Jones. I know there was a little more of nepotism to that one because of who was Team USA's general manager, who we will not name just because I don't want to give him any type of airtime. Yeah. But – um. You know, I, I, sometimes these names get picked and they just get picked because of their name. I, I think Pavelski will get picked partially because of his name. I still think he's a decent player. I don't think he's the player he was la- last year or two years ago or anything like that. But, yeah, um, I think Pavelski will probably end up being on that team. I can't, I'm just, I just pulled up like a mock roster. Cam, Cam Atkinson, Johnny mm-hmm. Goudreau. Goudreau, yeah. Brady Kachuk, Alex Tuck. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't go talk. JVR. Maybe it's like a fourth line center. Um, but the Rangers have been in this situation before. 2002, Mike York played his way onto Team USA. Yeah, I mean, he did. He, he was only on the fourth line, line but still, he, he was still there. But all right, guys. So we're going to move on to the bar talk, but we want to know what you think. <laughs> uh, are the Rangers for real, or are they just kind of winning with smoke and mirrors right now? And but. Can they get better, or is it going to be getting worse? Uh, P.K. Subban uh, and uh, the bad news with Sammy Blay. Do you think that Subban tripped them up intentionally? And also, Chris Kreider, should he be captain, or can he be, make Team USA? Throw it all down in the comments below. Guys, like, share, and subscribe, of course. Max Pacioretty, yep. we didn't mention. Good you one, know what the great thing is? We're now Good in an one, age Joey. where American guys getting cut is going to make headlines. And, that and was, that's that's good. Like 2014, when Keith Yandel was off the list, I was surprised. And that was like number four. I mean, Bobby Ryan also was not on there, too. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.